Transformers are one of the most important components of the power grid and the industries they serve. Over time, stresses on the power network, like over voltages and short circuits, can wear down the organic material and components inside the transformer. This can cause the transformer to fail. That's why identifying weaknesses early and correcting them is key. However, the process to inspect is long. The classical procedure is complex, costly and environmentally risky. It involves removing the oil and storing it separately to allow service personnel to climb into very restricted spaces. Introducing ABB Ability T-Explore, the first submersible transformer inspection robot. Wirelessly controlled, it can be maneuvered through a liquid-filled transformer to perform a safe and cost-effective internal inspection that can be viewed remotely. Opening the cover on top of the transformer allows an operator to introduce the submersible robot while it is still filled with oil. Multiple onboard cameras and adjustable lighting allow an extensive inspection of the many components. The robot's small size allows it to access many difficult to reach areas for the most complete inspection possible. The robot records videos and photos and can share the camera feeds to off-site experts in close to real time. ABB takes this feature one step further by integrating the robot and system into the ABB Ability platform. T-Explore has several benefits. It provides better insight into asset condition. The data collected by the robot can be analyzed by ABB experts. There is a considerable reduction in downtime and if a problem is identified, ABB's experts can provide a quick solution. Inspection costs are significantly reduced, sometimes by 50% or more. By minimizing oil handling, the risk of environmental damage is significantly lowered, and there is no need to place personnel at risk or expose the transformer to potential damage from human interaction. Faster, safer, and more cost-effective maintenance and repairs for liquid-filled transformers.